the development story of the Vickers Wellington, affectionately known as the Wimpy among its crew, begins in the mid-1930s. As the clouds of conflict were gathering over Europe, the British Air Ministry saw a pressing need for a long-range medium bomber aircraft. The man to take up this challenge was Barnes Wallace, an innovative aeronautical engineer working for Vickers Armstrongs. Wallace conceptualized a new type of construction, the geodetic design, inspired by his work on airships. This airframe was incredibly strong and light, allowing the Wellington to withstand considerable damage and still return home. The Wellington's most distinct feature was its geodetic structure. An interlaced network of aluminium alloy strips formed a crisscross pattern, giving the Wellington its unique diamond-shaped design and tremendous resilience. Inside the Wellington, a crew of six operated the aircraft. This included a pilot, navigator, wireless operator, front and rear gunners, and a bomb aimer who doubled as the front gunner. The operational history of the Vickers Wellington is a saga of resilience and versatility that unfolds against the backdrop of World War II. From the early days of the conflict, the Wellington played a crucial role. As the primary British bomber at the onset of the war, it was a key component in striking at the heart of enemy territories. The aircraft saw action in most theaters of the war, from the European mainland to the Middle East and the Mediterranean, and even the Far East. Hey there! I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching and supporting this channel. You're amazing. I'd like to introduce you to Super Thanks. Your Super Thanks donation not only helps me create more awesome content, but also gets highlighted in the comments section. Just click on the Thanks button below this video and leave a small tip in your local currency. Let's grow together and thank you for being a super supporter. Now back to the video. The Wellington's maiden operational flight took place on September 4th, 1939 just one day after Britain declared war on Germany. On that night, 14 Wellingtons took off to attack German shipping, marking the beginning of its integral role in the conflict. During the early phase of the war, Wellingtons bore the brunt of the British bombing campaign against Germany, flying deep into enemy territory during the night. Their ability to carry up to 4,500 pounds of bombs meant they could deliver a significant punch. But the Wellington story wasn't confined to the skies above Europe. Over the churning waters of the Atlantic, it proved itself as an adept submarine hunter. Its long range and the ability to carry depth charges made it a crucial asset in the Battle of the Atlantic, where it was used to great effect against German U-boats. In the heat of the North African desert, Wellingtons of the Middle East Command performed dual roles. By night, they were bombers, targeting enemy bases and supply routes. By day, they acted as transports, bringing in vital supplies. Among the countless stories of heroism and survival, one Wellington stood out. R for Robert, participated in an incredible 67 operations, even returning home on one engine after a confrontation with a German fighter. Such stories were not rare. Wellingtons often returned home riddled with bullet holes, their geodetic structure holding firm despite significant damage. This incredible resilience earned the Wellington a special place in the hearts of their crews even as newer, more advanced bombers like the Lancaster and the Halifax entered service. The Wellington continued to serve in various capacities till the end of the war, demonstrating its versatility. After the war, many Wellingtons were quickly phased out and scrapped, but their legacy of resilience and versatility had been firmly etched into the annals of aviation history. The Vickers Wellington was not a single, unchanging design, but rather a series of evolving models, each one improving on the last, demonstrating the versatility of the aircraft from the early Mark I model, with its innovative geodetic airframe and Pegasus engines, to the most produced variant, the Mark X. The Wellington line was continuously modified to adapt to changing warfare conditions. These variations saw changes in armament, enhancements in bomb-carrying capacity, and the introduction of new, more powerful engines. The Vickers Wellington left an indelible mark on the annals of aviation history. Despite being overshadowed by more famous bombers like the Lancaster, the Wimpy was the workhorse that bore the brunt of the early war years. The Wellington's influence can be seen in modern aircraft design. Its unique geodetic construction inspired advancements in aeronautical engineering, and its resilience under fire has become a benchmark in aircraft survivability. Today, only a few Wellingtons survive in museums around the world, silent testimonies to the brave crews that flew them 
and the ingenious engineers who designed them.